think we're back. It says I stream offline. That says stream. You are live. I have to check it on my phone here because I don't know what's going on. It says we're live, but I'm not really sure if we are. Figure out what it says we're live, but I can't. Yeah. Is it back? We're back good again. See, I'm not getting any kind of preview here. I don't know if we have video. Hey, can you guys see anything? Uh, it disconnected. Now it says we're connected back again, but I have no video preview to actually see. Usually there's a video preview and I can see what you guys are seeing. Um, but for some reason, okay. Let me just, uh, wow, I can't see any chat though, Jeff. I'm gonna try refreshing here, guys. Hopefully this doesn't bomb everything. All right, I think we're golden again, guys. I wanna apologize. Uh, I do have my preview back. Okay, everything looks good. I'm not sure what happened here, guys. All of a sudden, everything started spinning on the screens and it just, everything came to a halt. And then it came back and it short, sort of showed everything is being live, but then I didn't get a preview. And uh, I just refreshed everything and it looks like I think we're okay again. All right, guys, so where we left off, um, hopefully everybody's joining back up here. Uh, where we left off is I opened a bunch of packs. We haven't gone through them yet, but um, right off the bat, there was a good card. I don't know how much you guys saw of it uh, before we got cut off. So that was the first one on top is the Yusei Kikuchi again, and that's what I just grabbed this first couple cards here to start going through them. So, again, it uh, looks like we got about a handful or more uh, people joining back up, so... All right, we're going to get started here again, folks. Uh, I will either be posting two videos, one of each half, or joining these together before it gets posted and merging them into one. I'm not sure quite which one yet, but uh, we will put both halves, halves of this up there so you guys can see the, uh, the entire uh, you know thing, both, both halves of it. Again, sorry again, everybody. I'm not sure what happened. Um, for some reason, it just said no internet access for whatever reason. And then it came right back. All right, well there we go, guys. It's a Kikuchi, and this isn't uh, this isn't from like ten minutes ago. That's the second Kikuchi. Uh, Ian Desmond, Castro, Shamanaya, Yadier Molina, got a Jim Bunning, Sandy Koufax. Uh, we pulled a Sandy Koufax here uh, auto, not that long ago. I think it was last week. It was in part of what's called a um, triple play. No, not a triple play. Not sure quite what it was. Uh, it gives you um, oh, where Jeff's he went off somewhere here. Uh, we opened a couple of these, and it was a triple. Ooh, nice! A little mini 1975 card. It was uh, a triple booklet plus a um, just a cut auto, and it was consisting of uh, good old time players, but it was always themed, and. Um, 
done a loose cut audio and, uh, auto, and a lot of them were like uh, some World War II veterans who also played in the major leagues. But a lot of them were just, um, the, at least the triple booklets were really cool. Uh, let me tell you, or, uh, get this past you guys first here. Uh, this is the Phil Rizzuto scooter, and it's a mini 1975. Again, really cool. It's a, just a, a mini, exactly what they say it is. It's a mini card. So it's a mini version of the 1975, uh, their version of a 1975 Phil Rizzuto. There wasn't a, I, I believe, a real Phil Rizzuto card made that year. I think he was long retired. In fact, it should probably say there. Definitely long retired. So, uh, do, well, do you recall what the name of that um, was? The Historic Autos the, with the triple booklets, the Kofax. Yes. It was a Historic Autos baseball auto edition something, and uh, it was part of a uh, perfect game that he threw, and it was like him, uh, Torborg, Jeff Torborg, maybe, and Harvey Kuhn. It was like the the pitcher, the catcher, and the. Uh, and the batter so it was pretty cool uh it was they're they're really nice because they were themed um there was some something connecting all three autographs in the booklet always and it was some pretty clever uh you know triples of uh of guys that signed it they were, they were pretty inventive anyway you guys can check that video out on here uh on our channel there's another expo we got a chris shaw chris shaw pretty good player there for the giants and that's his rookie card he's back a little bit lk line all right, let me just double check, make sure our chance all good there. All right, you know, Slaughter, Javier Baez going out to the Cubbies, Salvador Perez. It must be a Tops uh, magazine card because it's tough to slide it. Ken Griffey Jr., that one going out to the Mariners. That's his old, old jerseys. Got another Chris Bryant here, so two going to the, uh, to the kid baseball guys and gals tonight, sounds like. Good to see everybody. Hopefully that you guys were able to join back up here. Berto Clemente, Harmon Killebrew, and Nick Markakis. All right, guys. There's a few more down. On to the next set of these. And again, I want to thank everybody for joining us again tonight on a Wednesday, the night before Thanksgiving. Hunter Dozier, what I'm thankful for is an internet connection, hopefully here for the entire duration. Brad Keller, Ichiro, Scooter Gannett, so we can... Make this as frictionless as possible. There's a nice one. A Chris Bryant magazine card. Followed by, ooh, followed by a Vladdy Jr. Look who, just when you're basking in this, you're getting this. This guy sneaks up behind you. A Vladdy Jr., and that's a rookie card. Future Star 1993 card. Very nice. So that was two nice cards there in a row. Let me get this in a rookie. Well, we don't have any of the rookie top orders, but let's get, at least get it in the top order. go going out to toronto and a jace today who's got the just scott welcome back scott great to see you again good to get your night started off here javier vasquez pitcher there's an expos what's that you got a problem with the video again no no i'm just saying that, that, that brian was a variation oh it was a variation I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As far yeah, yeah, definitely. It's not a base or anything like that. For sure. No, it's a great card. Unfortunately, it got fouled up by a Vladdy, which came in to try to steal its thunder. So that one going out to the kid baseball guys and gals, like I said. Oh, 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 really? Okay. Oh, you mean a nine, was it a 93 maybe? Let's see if it's still in the pile here. Uh, Chris Bryant, Chris Bryant. No, it's probably in the pile Jeff already uh, is going through. I know which one you're talking about, though. I think it was in the last pile. I think it was a 90, these 93 uh, variations. So we got Joe Panic. Maybe we'll come across another one here. So a lot of cards to get through. Yeah, I think those are, yeah. Jeff, if I could see those. Jeff's on top of it, as usual. Kyle Wright, Johnny B, and a Jim Tomei, Hall of Famer. All right, guys, I just hit the camera real quick for good measure, for no reason. 
and I think what you're talking about, guys, and you are right. There we go. There was two versions. I think we've this one before. We've we've seen this one before. I don't know that I've seen this one. So let's turn those over and take a look here. Oop. There we go. Let me see if I can. Six four and a seventy. So six four. Yep. Yeah, so this is six four for a serial number on the back. Is the last two digits. That's probably the base. And this, the last two is seventy. So again, that's usually a variation. Uh, so we'll get that one sleeved up. Good catch, guys. Ah, 64, 70 is, oh, so 70 is a variation for us. So 53, okay. Very good. Jeff telling me that the code's there. And in the 70s, regardless of what year, um, 70 is going to be the variation. So good catch, guys. All right, we're on to Eddie Murray, Stephen Piscotti, Mitch Hanniger, Raphael Devers. Had a heck of a year this year, guys. Heck of a year. I think he had like 126 maybe RBIs, something along those lines. Very good year. Jose Altuve. We've got one of the archives one. I believe this is where they've got kind of like almost like a buyback. Then they stamp them with the uh, with the foil here, because the Ichiro's I think we got like maybe eight of them last time, and they were all different years. So uh, that again, they'll go out to the individual teams. In this case, Miami. But uh, again, if you see those in here, you'll see almost like different years mixed in. And it is, it's different years they bought back and stamped. He's kind of like a little subset. Cal Count Cantrell, Willie Adamas, and Eddie Matthews. Eddie Matthews, a member of the 500 Home Run Club. Fantastic hitter. Again, from a different era. A lot of people won't know about him, but a lot of the 500 uh, home club, home run club does come from, uh, you know, uh, an older era. All right, on to the next set of cards here, guys. It's <laughs> ended the happy dance. Outstanding. Anytime we can cause the happy dance, we're happy here, so... Trying to see if any of these are thicker or not. They're all pretty much the same right now, it seems like. I don't know how many uh, relics. I know we've pulled relics before out of here, but I don't know about how... Uh, well, we could look at the odds, I suppose, how often we could expect them. Same with the autos. We did get one auto already, and uh, that was really early on. I, that is almost like a... Uh, very tough to live up to that standard after that, but... Anyway, we got to keep our eye open. Maybe, we, hopefully, we haven't missed any of the numbered cards, but we'll we'll find those during sorting if we did. We've got a Derek Jeter, a Vladdy Senior, Lefty Grove, Eric Hosmer, Brad Keller. Again, there's another Ichiro and a Scooter Gannett, followed by by Eddie Rosario, and there's going to be a magazine behind him, Pedro Martinez. Now we have a numbered one coming up. That's going to be for Tampa Bay. And here's another one of the buybacks, and that's an Ichiro. Again, with the foil insert uh, stamp on the top right, going out to Seattle. So this one going out to the Rays is going to be numbered. You can tell by that thick black border they put around it. And sure enough, there it is, 150 of 175. So that's considered a purple, a purple border. Sleeved up. And the Rays tonight. The Rays going to Steve. All right. Good to see you, Steve. Blake Schnell. Good pitcher. Yeah, Jorge Polanco. Panic. 
Sanchez, Nate Lowe, and David Dahl. All right, next set of cards. Ron Guzman, Albies. Do we have uh, Acuna? Did you see an Acuna or Acuna come through? We did get it. Okay, Jeff caught it. We should have. Uh, I probably should have sleeved that one. But ones like that, you know, a lot of the bigger uh, name cards were we'll, uh, we're on top of it. Yeah, not too bad, Steve. Like I said, they, they do got some numbered cards in here. Hopefully I haven't missed any of them. There's a Javi Baez going out to the Cubbies. Followed by a Jose Altuve. Luis Urias, again, traded. Rookie card, traded to the Brewers today. Jose Ramirez, Babe Ruth. You got a Roberto Clemente, Harmon Kilbrew, and a Nick Marcakis. So, Steve, you're getting all the Pirates, so you're you're the one uh, getting all these uh, Roberto Clemente's. We've got whoop, Ted Williams, a red incised or something. Uh, Trevor Bauer, Josh Hader, Starling Marte. What's that? No. Uh, there should be more of them over there. Um, Jesse Winker, Zach Green. Jamison Italian. Chris Shaw again. The Wizard, Ozzy Smith. Ichiro. And again, another buyback card. 2001 to 2018 cards. Joey Votto. Votto, always a funny guy to look up on YouTube. He interacts a lot with the guys. Uh, guys by guys, I mean the people uh, seated behind uh, home plate. Uh, some pretty interesting exchanges, which range from, uh, and also where he goes to catch balls that are in foul territory. He runs into some people, and they, the interactions range from, <laughs> not always too friendly, uh, to in some instances giving uh, his his literally his jersey right off his back, uh, and I think uh, I was a, uh, gosh, I want to say. Um, like a Joey Votto for president. Can I get a shout out? J and J Baseball Channel. Are you here with us tonight, man? Are you, are you taking part in our uh, taking part of our uh, our break, or are you just uh, joining us uh, for a little bit? We got a Fernando Tatis Jr. Either way, here going to San Diego. Padres. Let's see. Where's the Padres going tonight? I haven't had to call their name, unfortunately. Oh, Padres, Padres. Oh, Cyrus. Now, Cyrus, I think I've seen you here before. I think it's been a bit, but I'm, I think we've had you here. Well, that's good to see, J&J. &J. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're joining us for a little bit. Uh, Fernando Tatis Jr., J&J &J, uh, Baseball Channel. There we go. Fernando Tatis Going to Cyrus, like I said, I think Cyrus, I think we've seen you in here before, but um, I think it's been a bit, but glad to see you back if that's the case. That's one of the rookies you're going to be looking for in here. Tejon Walker, we got a Bob Lemon, Nolan Ryan, again in the cool rainbow unis. Gotta love those, Gil Hodges, Hal Newhauser, Chris Sale, another Cody Bellinger. Again, I really like these. Uh, archives because of the three years and I was always a big fan of these you know, kind of two-tone uh, 1975 cards Dodgers I don't they I don't know why they're associating them with these Padres colors but uh, I always love these they always uh, something I remember as a kid having you got your complete stats uh, a little always some sort of uh, cartoon you got your stats uh, you know it, it was pretty much everything you needed to know to catch up about a player because back then you didn't have the internet so uh, this is really how you got your information about about you know the ball players you followed. It wasn't always easy if um, you know it was <laughs> to newspapers and you know Sports Illustrated and things like that. Unfortunately, so you, you again that's where a lot of this stuff with baseball cards comes from. This is how you uh, there's another nice one Anthony Rizzo going out to the Cubbies, and uh, this is how you caught up with a lot of the stuff. So 
Ichiro. These days, you can, I guess, put not much on the back because you're just going to look the stuff up on the internet inevitably. And I don't blame you. That's where I go for my information as well. Yonder Alonso, Dansby Swanson. So, um, again, really cool that they bring bringing back some of the old designs for these. Uh, what's, what's old is new, as they say. And uh, some of the you know old designs were really great, and it's great to be able to you know go back and and give a nod or an homage to these these old years. Even obviously like the uh, series one, series two, and update, they have uh, the 35th anniversary, which is always you know uh, rotating out for the uh, based on the year, and uh, this year. Uh, was the 1984s so again they, they try to always harken back to some of the older years all right guys on to the next pile We've got Kyle Seeger Chance Adams rookie card Bo Jackson Carlos Correa Blake training, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, exactly what it is, I guess. Josh James. Got a Michael Kopech again. Christy Mathewson going on to the Giants. Charlie Blackman. Low Kane. We got Eric Hosmer. And he moved from KC over to the Padres. They paid him pretty, pretty handsomely to come over. Justice Sheffield. That's a Mariners rookie card. And the 1993 design. If you go out trying to find uh, Derek Jeter rookie, you're going to find that one in that year. Chris Bryant. There's another nice one going out uh, magazine one. Going out to the Cubbies. Kid Baseball. Uh, J&J, uh, it's a bit late to get in on this one, but we do hold breaks about two or three times a week, and they're actually available on our um, eBay store. If you go to the eBay store and look for the Break Brothers uh, same as our channel here, you'll be able to find uh, where we have all the listings. And uh, the next one we do have coming up is a mixer break, which is actually a pretty cool. Uh, unlike this, whoa, hang on, hang on with that. Well, again, Chris Bryant, nice card, base card, nice card, base card. And uh, we have another Pete Alonzo here. Then we'll get back to that mixer break. So another Pete Alonzo rookie. Very nice, going out to Alec. That's a couple for you already on those. Great to see. Pete Alonzo. You got it, guys. The um, Like I was saying, the next one up that we have for our breaks are the... Uh, uh, it's like, a, well, it's a mixer. And that means instead of being one product like this, where it's going to be the, uh, the Topps Archive, it's going to be a mix of different products. There's some Panini... There's some tops, and it ranges from some kind of middle-end products all the way up to some uh, high-end products. There's Ty Cobb, George Kell, Josh Donaldson, Walker Bueller, Manny Margot, and um, some really great ones for getting like relics and autos. There's a certain amount of guaranteed ones, unlike this, where they don't guarantee um, what you're going to get as far as the number of autos in that. Uh, these products are hobby products, so they do guarantee what you're going to get in them, and I think it's a minimum of... I'd have to check. I think it's 17 hits coming in the next one. So it's, it's pretty significant. And some of them are, have booklets in them, like the Prime Cuts. Uh, there's booklets that uh, come in some of these. So there's really an opportunity to get some cool stuff. Uh, next Wednesday, I believe, we're back to doing some Tops Update. So it's, a very, it's, it's one product and not a mixer. And uh, that's a nice one, too, because you can catch up on the rookies like you can here, which, you know, like the uh, Fernando Tatises, the Alonzos, the Vladdies, the Eloys. Ah, speaking of Eloy, I haven't seen him yet. Willie Stargell, Nolan Arenado. Should see some Eloys here, hopefully. Uh, Shoei Itani. Um, but we do have another mixer, I believe, next Saturday. So this Saturday is our, our first mixer, Joey Atani. And uh, there you go. Yeah, I know, Alec. Nice. The uh, Same with kid uh, baseball. Good stuff. Um, oop, there we go. Otani. 
Um, and then next Saturday, again, we're back to the, uh, the mixer again, and it'll be a very similar configuration. Deion Sanders. So you guys can check those out. Chris Bryant. That's like the third magazine uh, one of his. Each year also, you, you guys are going to have plenty to go around. Everybody that's uh, in the family is going to be able to have one of these soon. And hopefully with the base cards, too. Hopefully we just keep those coming for you guys. Gaston Anas is a Kyle Schwarber. We've got a D. Gordon there going out to Seattle. And the Mariners, again, that's Matt. All right, guys, on to the next set of packs. And we're about uh, roughly about an hour in or so. Uh, we didn't start right on time because there's that little countdown... And then, uh, you know, seeing if anybody wants any of the available teams. So we're going to try to keep this relatively quick. So if we get some stuff for them, make that early one good. All right, guys, let's get cracking with some of these. We got a Buster Posey. We got a Reese Hoskins for the Phillies. Uh, Dylan Bundy, a guy that was really a high prospect, and he kind of just fizzled. I mean, he's still trying to slug it his way through it, but it's tough. I know he's not he's not having the best of uh, goes of it. He's really supposed to be the ace of the staff. Scooter Gannett. Eddie Rosario. Uh, unfortunately, they've had some guys like that uh, for the Orioles. They've had some a little bit of disappointment there. Um, was it Weeters? Matt Weeters was very highly touted, and he turned out to be pretty good. There's another Chris Bryant, 1975 design highlights. And um, Weeters was good. And he I, Maybe still tucked away somewhere as a backup catcher. I don't think he still starts. I could be very wrong, guys. I've just kind of lost track of him. And uh, But, again, he really never... If you knew the potential, how he was pegged, you know, coming out of college and um, in a draft, he just he didn't live up to that quite. Well, the Orioles this year, there's a nice Vladdy. Um this year, uh, they got Adley Rushman, Rushman, and he should be absolutely fantastic. He's Right now, he's a catcher, uh, just like Weeder. He's, uh, I think he's a five-tool player, at least a four-tool player, but he might be a five-tool player, and uh, he's just going to be amazing. I, I think he can't miss. So I think the Orioles should hopefully get some sort of reprieve here soon and come really come back to their legacy. They've always been a good organization, and... They just really haven't been very good. Their draft picks, like the Dylan Bundys, just have not panned out. So there's Vladdy Guerrero Jr. Going out to Scott. Again, good to see you back here, Scott. Jim Bunning, Sandy Koufax. Got a Bernie Williams, Frank Thomas. Again, I was almost didn't think there was an auto there for a second. The non-autos are the short prints. There's a Danny Jansen rookie card. And let's get there we go. Barry Larkin for Cincinnati. Can't believe they didn't get sold. They're always uh, usually a good team. David Ortiz. Sammy Sosa. Roger Hornsby and Joe Morgan. Speaking of Cincinnati, big red machine. All right. Lefty Grove. Whitey Ford. Lucas Giolito. Jose Barrios. Harrison Bader. Luis Severino. Arenado, another Otani, and a Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders, he was really good at baseball. Not just football. He was legit for the Braves, good player. He really lived up to the double billing, just like Bo Jackson uh, did for a very short time. He burned very bright on the fields uh, for a very short time, and then he, uh, he blew out that hip against Cincinnati Bengals back in, I think it was the AFC Championship game or uh, not AFC Championship game, wild card game, I want to say. And uh, he was never quite right. He came back, and he was competitive, better than most, better than the guy off the street, better than a lot of minor leaguers. He earned his roster spots, but uh, never quite what the, the legend was made of. Max Scherzer, Larry Doby, Bruce Suter, Jorge Posada, Kevin Kramer, Mookie Betts. There we go. 
go. George Kell, Josh Donaldson, Walker Buer, Buer, Manny Margot, Francisco Lindor, Bryce Harper again with his new team, the Phillies. We'll say Abreu. Abreu had fantastic stats this year, by the way, guys. If you, if you haven't looked, his stats were really good. Uh, I took a uh, Major League Baseball survey that it got sent uh, in the email. It must be on some some list. And um, and it showed his stats, and it was you get to choose, like, I don't know, four outfielders, five outfielders from a list. And they showed their stats with them. And amongst the list was Jose Abreu. And uh, I guess I really had paid enough attention to him during the year. And while I wasn't paying attention, he was busy just raking, apparently. Uh, so he actually had a really good year. I, I, he just gets lost. There's so many other big names. And uh, with him in the White Sox and with guys like Eloy Jimenez um, and future up-and-comers like Nick Madrigal, um, there's just – I can see why he's just fighting for some – some limelight there. And now Luis uh, Robert, he's going to be up there. They'll probably try to sign him like they did to Eloy a, uh, to a uh, prior to the start of the season, get him signed to a nice long contract, and then uh, you know have him start the season with the big club like they did with Eloy. So here we go. We got right on the top, Vladdy Guerrero Jr. So there's another nice one going out to Scott. From one Scott to another. This is a good card as a uh, huge Toronto fan. I can appreciate it. And he's only part of the new blood that's there in Toronto. Here's some of the other new blood right behind him. Kevin Biggio, rookie card. Again, going out to Scott and the Jays. making pretty good time here folks we're getting started on this pile here and then I'm probably got about two more piles and we're done so we're getting through these relatively quickly Tom Larson there's a Bryce Harper for the Phillies nice card there again I love these 1975ers that's Kyle Hendricks for the Cubs and uh, I was going to say a lot of you guys not a lot of you guys uh, there's a Juan Soto had taken part in this weekend's uh, breaks. We did three breaks, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And uh, I would have loved to throw these pack or these uh, cards in with those packages, but we actually got everything out this morning uh, physically into the possession of the uh, post office. So unfortunately, these will be shipped separately. But um, you know, you guys that have that showed up a couple times this weekend, and you're back again. We really do appreciate it. Um, Again, uh, can't do it out without you guys, guys like you guys that are, you know, helping us bring this to you. It's tough to afford uh, cases and that without, uh, you know, the money that we get these from. And then we turn it right back around and try to get better equipment and uh, spiffy new backgrounds <laughs> like this. And, uh, again, just try to keep improving this and allows us to buy the cases and that. So we thank everybody that comes back. And uh, hopefully we, by, we can reciprocate by getting some good cards back to you. Uh, in return for your, your investment in these cases. So, uh, we start, Joel. And again, you guys get all these cards, obviously. Uh, hits, non hits, base, everything. They're all yours. Everything that you guys uh, bid on is yours on these. So, and uh, if for some, some reason you spent a ton of money and you didn't get anything, and it's pretty tough when you're going to get, I think everybody's going to end up with a pretty nice pile of cards here. Uh, but we always try to help people out. Uh, if for some reason there seems to be a big, a big uh, gap in what you spent versus what you're receiving. We'll try to take a second look and see if there's anything we can do. Um, but again, we're hoping usually everybody gets cards, so we're, it usually doesn't really come up that often. Steve Carlton, Jose Altuve. Again, we've seen a lot of Altuve's different uh, configurations here. Different is now. You can kind of see what I'm saying that a lot of these guys are. You have a version that's this year and version in. Uh, several other years. That's a weird background. It almost looks like it's just photoshopped something or other. Just a gray background. Interesting. He's got some mountains behind Brett. That looks like he just was dropped in. Like he was in a studio and they just dropped that background behind him. 
that actually looks semi-legit. So, yeah, some of these look pretty shady, actually, mm -hmm. now that I look at it. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. There's, there's, been, uh, there's, a, there's this guy, uh, a great guy that has gotten the Reds a lot, Big, Big Ed. And he, he's, he got the Reds, like, oh, I want to say two or three out of, out, of, out of the times in a row up until this weekend. And for whatever reason, we didn't see him this weekend. And I feel bad because this is the weekend we drew a, a Nick Senzel one of one card. And I feel bad because it's, uh, he again, he's been diligent with us. And I always like to see the people that have spent the time with us and, and spent money with us that we, we can get something back in your hands that's substantial. You know, base cards and parallels are nice, but autographs and relics and cool stuff like one-on-ones, that's the stuff we're hoping we can get to you guys and, you know, really get you something for your money. So uh, whether it's your personal collection, whether you're trying to flip the stuff, we, it's, you know, that's we want to get something back to you that's, you know, notable in one form or another, whether it's uh, for nostalgia's sake or whether it's for money. So, again, there's another Mariners Ichiro, Polanco, Joe Panic. Aaron Sanchez, Nate Lowe, David Dahl, Carlton Fisk, Jake Cave rookie, and a Kyle Wright rookie. Got a pretty cool Kyle Wright rookie card. Uh, I want to say it's a Trinity, and it's a uh, one of those baseball cap ones where it's the button on the top of his cap that's embedded in the uh, in the card. It's pretty cool. It's a super thick card, but it's sure enough, it's that metal. There's a nice Ross Rafael Devers again. Um, it's that metal, you know, just top of a hat that it's that button. It's, 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 it's absurd to think they put it in a card, but it's really cool. Uh, Derek Jeter, we got a Scott Kingery, Nick Marcakis, Corey Seager, Brandon Crawford, Cal Quantrill, Willie Adamas, Andy Matthews. Again, we've seen that sequence before. You're going to see that again. Probably, uh, if you, guys break cards like we do you see enough sequences that if you're just buying a pack or two off the rack or out of a hobby box you'd never see that sequence more than likely unless you're buying quite a few of them and uh once you sit down you open like we, these are just little third cases but sometimes we open full cases and it's like 2,000 cards and you'll see the same sequence over and over it's amazing that you, where you think these are truly just random cards randomly put into uh, packs. I'm not so sure. I think there's a formula in here somewhere. I, you shouldn't see so many. I've gotten two packs in a row sometimes with, you know, 90% of the cards exactly the same. Just not right. All right, guys. Kind of the home stretch here. So we've got this pile here, and uh, you can kind of see each of those represents kind of a layer. You can see that white band in those, and that's uh, each a pack. So there's four packs in this this pile, four packs left here, and then we're done, folks. Uh, not as many numbered cards this time. I think we've got one, two. It's kind of embarrassing. So I'm hoping we have a nice run out here. Uh, Jake Bowers, got Orlando Cepeda. I mean, everybody's going to get all these cards. You're going to get a ton of base cards. You're going to get some cool rookies. But, again, I was hoping for a little bit more, even though they don't guarantee them. I was really hoping, well, we got one auto. But, uh, again, hoping for a little bit more. Longoria, Kevin Pillar. Let's get these on camera. will be even better. Zudo, we got a Roger Maris. Five, there we go. All right. Eloy Jimenez. Welcome to the party, Eloy. I was wondering if we were going to see you tonight. There we go. White Sox, that's Matt again. You've seen most of the other rookies. All right, right behind him, Anthony Rizzo. Another magazine cover. You guys have got some magazine covers coming to you, without a doubt. All right, Kobe Allard, Ryan O'Hearn, and Rock Reigns. Whoop, right out. There we go. Mike Trout right off the bat. Let's get him sleeved up. Again, another great year. I don't think he quite batted 300. I want to say he ended up around 294. I'm guessing somewhere around there. 
still just an absurd year. Uh, he keeps, he's one of these guys that somehow gets better every single year. Somehow, some way, finds some way to expand on what he's done already. Um, just really, his legacy is just absurd. Grows by the year, folks. Here's another Kikuchi. Good rookie card. Let's bring it down there. If you're looking for some of the other uh, rookies, uh, September call-ups, the Yastrzemskis, the um, uh, Oscar Mercados for Cleveland, guys like that, you'll find that in the update product, and we are breaking that next Wednesday. And again, this weekend on Saturday is that crazy crazy mixer it should be really fun it's even got some graded cards in there i think we got some tops archive signature that's going to be in there um we've got some five stars some prime cuts some tops update and uh some gold label and uh pro debut pro debut is a fantastic product it's another kind of under the radar I like this one and uh i think that one guarantees four hits in that hobby box but it's that one. It's it's really nice. I really do like it. It's uh, everybody on their minor league team, but it's the same rookies. But you're also getting like the Jordan Alvarez's and uh, Bo Bichette, I believe, is in it. Um, guys like that, plus all the usual suspects that we're seeing today: the Eloises, the the Vlads, the Pete Alonzos. Um, everybody's uh, Tatis. They're all. Part of that, and uh, there's an Acuna, but it's a pretty cool product. So that's all part of that mixer coming up Saturday, and again next Wednesday we will have some tops update for you guys, and that's again fat packs. It's a half case for breaking of those. Ronald Acuna. J.D. Matthews, or Matthews, Martinez, Kiner, Brown Baseball, Edwin Diaz, Hunter Renfro, Elvis Andrews, Cole Tucker, Anthony Rizzo again for the Cubbies, got a Mariano Rivera 1975 card, Francisco Arcia for the Cubs, Tuki Toussaint for the Braves, early win, Joey Ricard, Shane Green, got a Luis Urias, which is, again, he just got traded today to the Brewers, but a good card nonetheless. That will go to San Diego. Cal Ripken, George Brent, Billy Hamilton. All right, well, I'm just kind of expecting a little bit more on the... Uh, the number card front here, guys. Reggie Jackson, A Rod, Jake Bowers, Randall Sapaja. And again, we may find some during the sorting process. I may have just shot by something. Um, again, most of the time I'm looking through a camera at this stuff, so it's it's very easy for me to sometimes miss uh, something that maybe looked really obvious and it just skates right by me. Again, you guys caught some of the short prints. And again, I, I don't. Uh, yeah, oblivious to it occasionally. So there's another Otani. And I think he's back to pitching again next year. I think they shut him down for a good part of this year and then uh, just let him concentrate on hitting and then they go back to pitching, I think, next year. As he rehabbed his elbow. Ryan O'Hearn and Rock Rain. So we just do this. Am I losing my mind? DeGrom, Cy Young winner. Uh, Roger Maris. No, that was just because it was part of a sequence we've seen before. All right, guys. Down to the last four packs. Good luck, everybody. I am kind of a little miffed that we have not seen more numbered cards. It's um, very lopsided compared to what we saw the first break.
guys. Thanks again to everybody for joining us tonight. For our Wednesday night shenanigans. Hopefully you guys will uh, check us out again soon. And we're available on eBay, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter. And we have our www site, our store that we're filling with inventory. Uh, you can check that out as well. And that's www.thebreakbrothers.com. Uh, Let's see here. Airs at the T's. All right. Come strong here at the end. Hopefully, we can at least get some rookies out of this, if nothing else. Fernando Tatis. Ryan Sandberg going out to the Cubbies. Brandon Lau. Fantastic player. For the uh, there's another Eloy, good to see. Um, good play, good player for Tampa Bay. Again, one of these guys that does not play in a big market. It's uh, you don't really hear about him. Tampa's full of those guys. Eloy Jimenez going out to Matt. And again, we'll take a look, see what everybody uh, got tonight. Uh, Giants, I haven't seen much. I'll take a look. Yankees, I did see some cards. Um, Brewers, we'll have to take a look. Again, just make sure you guys are getting cards. Um, I mean, nobody's going to walk away empty-handed. I, I think everything, everybody's been covered. We opened enough cards where I think every team's represented. But, um, again, we'll take a look at individual situations. But I think everything sold at a reasonable enough price that probably everybody's uh, getting cards. So I think it should be all right. So... Ken Griffey Jr., 1975 design. Like that one. Very nice. Again, long career. Nolan Ryan. Miguel Cabrera. Griff Jr., again, there's another one of the kid. Eddie Matthews, Dizzy Dean, John Smoltz, Dakota Hudson, Francisco Lindor. The um, in between our breaks, we do open one box, like one or two box breaks. So if you guys are looking for something, uh, subscribe, please, if you get a chance. Uh, we do have these breaks, uh, and they're usually oddball stuff. We got some pretty pretty cool stuff coming up. Um, I might actually grab the box. Uh, while we get the recap together, we got a couple boxes of stuff that we can show you what we're gonna open up in the next couple days. Uh, Jake Cave, Johnny Bench, Jim Tomey again, Hall of Famer. Eddie Murray, Stephen Piscotti, Mitch Hanniger, Raphael Devers, Tony Perez. Again, a lot of guys are getting a lot of cards here. All right, so now we are gonna get a numbered one here. Good to see. Mel Ott, Kyle Wright, Jason DeGrom. And going out to the Oakland A's. They were feeling a bit neglected. That one's for Alec. A Blake training. And that is a silver border, which is going to be out of 99. There we go. Number 28 of 99. So, thank goodness. I really did expect to see a couple more uh, number cards tonight, to be honest with you. Said I want to say we had like seven, eight, maybe even more. Uh, I think last night, or not last night, but uh, last break. I think between autos and numbered, we had at least a half dozen. Nick Kakis, Marcakis, I should say, Crawford, Quantrill, Willie Adamas. Next up, some more Expos going to the Nationals. Randy Johnson, Ted Williams, there's Red again, Trevor Bauer, Josh Hader, Starlin Marte. Um, yeah, there was one or two good cards, I got to say. Nothing too over the top, but definitely a couple things you probably would have enjoyed. Um, I mean, we do enough breaks. Hopefully we, you guys get our chance to jump on some Cubs again, and we'll, we'll get you some more good ones, though. There's a Francisco Lindor, Ken Griffey Jr., Josh Bell, Syndergaard, Justin Upton. 
Yeah, I've thought of you guys a couple of times when uh, those Cubs teams went to other people and they'd get a, one or two decent cards. Johnny Bench, Jim Tomey again, Eddie Murray, guys, these guys are traveling in packs, Stephen Piscotti, and this is what I was talking about, Mitch Hanniger, Raphael Devers. It's like I'm opening the same pack over and over like Groundhog Day. Lou Boudreau, Jason DeGrom. Ken Griffey Jr., Nick Merkakis, again, Corey Seager, Brandon Crawford. You guys have seen this. Willie Adamas, my goodness. And that's kind of what I'm talking about, guys, is that repetition. You open enough of these, you start seeing some of that nonsense. Just double checking. There was no uh, numbered cards in there. Okay. All right, guys. We're going to get a, uh, a recap together for you. And while we're doing that, I'm going to grab a couple of boxes of stuff. We're just going to do like uh, one box kind of uh, breaks of and just inter just more there than anything else they're like a uh, it just featuring just some stuff that you probably may or may not break on your own but we're all curious what's in them so uh, one of the first things we're going to open in the next day or two is this and this is the uh, hip parade Baseball Cooper, Cooperstown Graded Rookie Edition Series 1. And what that is, it's uh, hand numbered 30 out of 100 here. It is a Hall of Fame player. A, again, somebody from Cooperstown, a graded, uh, and it's a graded rookie card, a buyback rookie, graded, I think it's got to be either a 9 or 9.5 or 10 of a rookie that's in the Hall of Fame. So uh, some player in the Hall of Fame, it's going to be his rookie card, and it's going to be graded very highly. So uh, only 100 of these cards, 100 players. They got the rookie card up and had them graded to that extent. Uh, should be interesting. We're going to open this up. Not tonight, but we're going to see what's in that. And then we got another one of these. We opened one of these before, and i got to be honest with you, I wasn't that thrilled. It was all right. And that's this bad boy. That is the tough to see here it's a hit parade baseball autograph triple play seven of ten um it's really just this huge monolith like 2001 just this very big box anyway what this one is is you get three products it's a autographed picture an autographed um baseball in an autographed jersey and the checklist i'm gonna be honest with you it was pretty good uh let's see let's see Kristen b giants no i'm saying giants we didn't get much for you guys i'll have to take a look and uh see what we got um and again if you guys if you got nobody's gonna walk away with nothing i'm sure you got cards and if not then we're gonna do something for you so no worries there um Kristen. we definitely will take care of anything we don't want anybody to walk away with nothing. So, um, any case, um, where is that picture, which I can't find. I was going to look up the picture here that we got last night. The guy they put in it was not even in the league anymore, to be honest with you. It was pretty bad. Uh, so hopefully this one's a bit better. It's supposed to be. We'll have to see with the Giants, but I know the Giants cards, you guys got a bunch tonight. So I know you're, Kristen, I know you guys are at least getting something. And this is the stuff that's just been sorted so far. So like I said, even though we went quickly through stuff, um, it, yeah, it's just going to be, uh, uh, you know, we'll see what it ends up being. But I think, like I said, for what people paid, it's probably going to be not that bad. All right, guys. This is a recap uh, through what we've seen so far here. What, what's up? Rookies? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's... Uh, oh, not, that's a number. Oh. Uh, kind of like like this one. Okay. That's uh, numbered. I don't know which ones are numbered. All right, well, we'll, we'll figure it out here based on best we can here. And it was just uh, high value. Okay. All right, guys. We'll do a quick recap here for you. First up is rookies, and we're still going through cards, um, but this will get you at least something here. 
Let's try it a little closer. We got Kevin Biggio for Toronto. Michael Chavis. We got some Bellinger, not rookies. No, that shouldn't be in there. One second. All right, we got Eloy. Looks like we got two of his. Kikuchi. Three Kikuchi rookies. Oop, there's... Wait a minute. Wait, I think I saw him earlier. Nope. Oh. A uh, couple of Vladdy. Oop, there's another one, a third. Uh, yeah. Sorry, guys, these aren't rookies. Let me just... Uh... All right, there's two Tatis. Some Otanis. Plenty of Otanis tonight going out to the Angels. We've got Pete Alonzo, Pete Alonzo, Pete Alonzo. Three Pete Alonzo rookie cards. Yeah, let's go through some of these other guys here. Kind of some of the more prominent names. It's Juan Soto. A couple of those. Again, different years. Different types of cards. We've got an Acuna, more Acuna in the magazine. We've got a couple of Cody Bellingers. We've got the mini, the 75 mini of the scooter, Phil Rizzuto. Uh, that with that. But they stamp it. Let's play five or six years. Play five or six years? What, what era? Uh, Late 60s, early 70s. Okay, late 60s, early 70s. So, um, well, they didn't get a team till 70s? He played for another team. Oh, prior to the Expos. Gotcha. Um, anyway, so this is a certified autograph. You can see down there in the bottom. That is an on card. They got the guy. They found this guy and uh, signed it up. Pretty nice. Congratulations. Oh, it's not a buyback. Let me move it back here. Shoot the 50th anniversary Montreal Expos. So, we did find one of these, fortunately. Did we just lose the internet again? I hope not. I think we lost the internet again. Are you kidding me? I think it... Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can still... Uh, still see this or not. But we're wrapping up. Anyway, um, there's Coco. We, we will post the whole thing on, on YouTube, so you'll be able to see this to the end. I'm not going to start it and restart it, uh, stop it and restart it, um, just to say goodbye. Um, hopefully you guys check it out, and we will talk to you all soon. And um, these will be out there pretty soon to you guys on the probably other side of the holiday because obviously we got to uh, spend this with the break parents, and uh, we'll be doing that, and there's no post office anyway to pick it up. So it'll be a few days before we get these out. Um, Hopefully before the weekend. If not, it's going to be Monday. But we are definitely trying to get this up to you uh, by Friday or Saturday, I would imagine. So anyway, keep an eye out for those. Keep an eye out for shipping numbers. And we appreciate everybody's business. You guys take care. Have a fantastic night. Be safe. Enjoy your time with your families tomorrow and your loved ones and your friends and however you spend it. And uh, we'll talk to everybody again soon. So thanks again. I'm not sure what's up with the internet tonight, guys. It's been acting sketchy. Um, hasn't happened before. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. We'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. See ya. Well, seems like we're all right. Yeah, I think it's just my view. All right, guys. <laughs> Adios. We'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Uh, especially you guys that we talk to uh, often, Scott, Landon, um, Mike, Zane, Owen, everybody, the whole family, uh, Cyrus, all you guys, have a good Thanksgiving, and hopefully we'll see you guys soon. Be safe, be cool, talk to you.